Hey guys, welcome to today's video. We're testing out a bunch of products from my weird bin, which I have three of those bins, if you didn't know that. I have in my beauty closet, I have the bad bin, I have fails, empties, and then I have weird products. So I just kind of keep them like filled with crazy things that come into PR, or if I order things offline, I'm like, oh, this is very strange. Like, hey, let's save that for a rainy day. And today is that rainy day, even though it's California and it is not raining outside. It's just like, it's like, it's, uh, it's raining in my heart. Actually, no, it's raining in my uterus. I have cramps so bad, you guys. I have my period and TMI. I feel like the life is sucked out of me right now at the moment. Like I feel pale, I feel tired. I feel like I just wanna like, wah, like curl up with a heating pad and watch trash TV, you know? Um, but instead, I'm still taking a seat here, doing my thing, playing with some weird products, and I actually think it might be kind of fun, so. Let's just like dive right in. We're gonna use the Wonder Lift 60 Second Wrinkle Reducer. This is for wrinkles, crow's feet, under eye bags, and dark circles. Wow, that's just like everything that could possibly go wrong underneath your eyes. It states it will fix in 60 seconds. Okay, so I'm gonna dig into here, and I think I'm gonna do one eye and not the other to just kind of see if it does anything really great or not, you know? I also have one of their primers that says Prime and Behold, a professional primer for color cosmetics. It has light transformation technology. What is that? How is that different from any other primer? Creates a waterproof, transfer-proof, and smudge-proof all-day wear. I'm gonna put this on one eye and not the other also. So, what's new with you guys? How are you? How are things? Tell me about your world. What kind of fall TV shows are you guys into? I am such a geek because like fall TV is my thing. Like I get so excited. Oh my gosh. This is us, 911, Manifest. Oh yeah, I just, I love some good fall television. What do you guys watch? Leave it in the comments below. Who is like a big TV fan? Cause that's my thing. Like my favorite thing at the end of the day is just to curl up on the couch and get lost in like a good TV show, right? Wow, it's taking me 5,000 years to get into this product that's supposed to work in 60 seconds, hello. Okay, I'm gonna put just a tiny bit on, just like a little bitty bit bit. We'll go on this side. I don't, I don't think you need to use that much. Shoot, a little goes a long way. Come on, nanolipids. Ooh, it's spicy. Wow, it's kind of like hot tamale underneath my eyes. Whoa, wait, are you guys seeing that? It's actually like lightning my under eye area. Is that safe? I like it. Okay, we're gonna go straight into a little foundation to powder action. I got this in Thailand and when I was cleaning everything up in here over the weekend, ooh, I can feel that really tightening up actually. <gasps> Oh my gosh, I've had this sitting in my like weird beauty bin forever and I never thought to try it. I'm curious to see how concealer like lays on top of that. Okay, so I got this in Thailand. This is the Blooming Flower Foundation to Powder with SPF of 30 um, because screw you, son. This says only that and nothing else in English. So we're just gonna go in and hope for the best. And I think I'm gonna use a brush with this because it's kind of like the liquid to powder situation, you know? I just don't really care that much. Like this is a good day for weird makeup because my butt is gonna be parked on the couch. Not impressing people. I was not expecting that kind of coverage, seriously. That is some coverage and powdery. This could be one of the worst foundations I've used in a long, long, long time. Wow, this is worse than Sassy Chic that I tried with uh, Thomas. <laughs> you guys, I have the worst cramps. I should not be filming. Can I get a doctor's note for YouTube? <laughs> How did this turn into a Halloween tutorial is what I'm asking and what probably you're asking as well. I look like I just smeared powder everywhere and it's like so noticeable and just bad. I would never, ever, ever use any kind of makeup 
that says cream to powder. You don't need that to help it blend. You don't need that for anything other than to make your skin look like a wreck. I don't know why I bought this. I thought it might be interesting and it was Mickey Mouse and it's in another language. And I was like, cool, we're drugstore makeup shopping, but that is a hard pass. Now I don't have an under eye concealer, so I'm gonna go in with the Hello Fab Bendy Avocado Concealer. I haven't tested this one enough and I just kinda wanna give it another quick go. So we'll do that real quick. Ooh, this side is even blending better. I think I like the 60 second thing though, no joke. Now we're gonna go in with some Precision Concealer, which I'm thinking will just have a pointy tip. You guys know I am like in to Catrice makeup so much. The foundation that I tried for 24 hours, I've worn that so many times now. This packaging is not the best though. Okay. Oh yeah, okay, this has like a nice fine tip type of a thing. This is Rose Beige number 20. And I'm just gonna see if I can like precision conceal. Let's see what that's about, if it's like super full coverage or what the deal is. Hmm, not really. It's a good idea in theory, but it's not really high coverage. So that really sucks. I don't like that. Okay, moving on, we have more to try. Let's put on a little bit of color correcting glow highlight. I don't really know how a highlighter is color correcting, but let's find out. So I'm just gonna kind of glow the cheeks up a little bit. Wow, that's a lot. A lot gets on that little brush as you twist it up. I don't understand these kind of products that are like glow products that don't really have any sheen to it, but they're not enough as far as coverage goes to be a concealer. So it's just kind of a weird product. And this is very expensive. It is again from Guerlain. Love Guerlain, love their primer. You guys know that so much, their gold primer. This did not do a lot. I do have another kind of highlighty product in front of me that I wanna try, and this is from Shiseido. And this is more of a putty type gel. Ooh, 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 the texture, hello. It's like a putty highlight, um, but a little bit more firm. So, oh, oh. Ooh, I love that. Oh my gosh, if I was wearing like actual great makeup, this is so pretty. Oh my God. Whoa, like in a highlight. Woo, I love that, okay. Wow, that is actually super glowy and gorgeous and there's no base to it. It's just the glimmer, kind of similar to how the Fenty highlight is, but this is not as creamy, it's a little more powdery, but it's still that putty texture, so that's really cool. Then I also have the Shiseido Minimalist Whipped Powder Blush. That looks a lot different than the highlight, like this is more like a mousse. So I'm gonna go a little more sparing with that. Wow, a little goes a long way. So I'm just gonna kind of tap, 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 tap right here, blend it out with the clean finger. That is a trick I always do with creams is if you place it down and then kind of tap it out with the finger that has the pigment on it, you're gonna run into more of a blending issue. So always take the finger that you have the color and kind of tap first, then take your clean finger as the blender. These are really nice. Okay, so as far as being a little bit more on the weird side, you know, any mousse or putty is kind of different, even though we've seen it a few times with, you know, Farsali jelly highlights, and you know, we've seen these weirder textures, the putty highlighters from Stila. Anytime another product is brought to market that is putty, jelly, a different texture, I am always a little bit curious about it to see if it's going to sink into the skin differently, if the blendability is gonna be different, and this is really nice. I actually really super love that. So now we are gonna go into an alpha hydroxy setting powder with time release peptides, vitamin C. This is like skincare and also powder. I've never seen anything like this. Have we heard about this line at all? I haven't. This is Onomi skin, Onomi, Onomi skincare makeup. All right, I'm gonna take a large fluffy powder brush, one of my favorites from Smashbox. 
And I am just going to graze the face. I mean, the only thing that kind of freaks me out about this is that maybe you would have a reaction to it. Like not everyone can do alpha hydroxy. So if you have very, very sensitive skin, I don't know that I would recommend trying something like this out. I kind of want to go under the eyes and just see how brightening this could be. That's not bad. I am really impressed. It is actually making my pores look quite minimized. It's brightening underneath the eye. If I wanted to bake with it, I think I could. I am going to keep this on the vanity to test out a little bit more. I was just curious, have you guys ever heard of an alpha hydroxy, which that is an acid that is meant to exfoliate the skin, help cellular turnover. I've never seen a powder infused with that, so I am super intrigued. I also love the peptides, the you know time-released vitamin C. That's really, really cool. So I will try this out some more, and it actually like smoothed over the skin really nicely, so gotta love that. Uh, we are gonna go right into what I've been waiting to share with you guys. This is the latest from Apple. It's the Makeup Lookbook Pro. Ta-da! Is this not kind of like the cheesiest thing you've ever seen ever? This was sent to me in PR, you guys. It's really, really colorful. Like what if this worked out and I was like, you guys, I know that the packaging is really tacky and everything, but like, I love my I Look Pro makeup set. Like, look at this. Look at that lime green in there, holy smokes. Okay, so I'm gonna put down my Wonder 2 primer first on one eye, and then we are gonna test these on both eyes. We're gonna be able to see if this primer does anything to jazz up the color. I'm gonna put it on the same eye that I put the uh, 60 second Wonder Lift under eye whatnot on. That's kind of strange. It has like an iridescent thing to it. I don't know if you guys can see that or if it'll pick up at all, but it's like iridescent for an eye primer. Interesting. I am going to go in to, why do I really want to use that like bright neon green, but I just don't want to like just do that. You know what we're going to do? We're going to go into this guy right here. You guys know I, I do enjoy this shadow. We're gonna go into a matte transition shade just to do like a quick little transition and then I'm going to go into the lime green because I just feel like it. So let's just see what happens. I just kind of want to test pigment and color. I'm also curious if the transition shade is going to blend differently on this eye versus the other eye because we have the primer down. Okay, I'm gonna go in with a flat brush and I'm gonna go into that obnoxious lime green and I'm going to pack this on the lid. Wow, that eye primer did such a nice job. Oh my God. Are you guys seeing this? This eye is so much brighter. Wow, okay, all right. I'm gonna take my fingertip into kind of a deeper bronzy shade right here and just pat this on the outer edge. This is actually probably one of the most butt ugliest looks I've ever done, but I just really wanted to see the color payoff of that lime green. I could do something really fun with it and take my time with some other matte shadows surrounding it. But you know, we're just kind of playing, experimenting and getting to know a product and I'm not so concerned with creating like the most beautiful look ever. I don't know, I'm probably gonna wash my face. This foundation is already kind of itching my skin a little bit, which really creeps me out, you know? This eyeshadow does not suck and that primer actually helps it out quite a bit. So I'm gonna take my fluffy brush right here and go into a little bit of the blush and I am going to just warm up the cheeks a little bit more. I'm not wearing any bronzer or contour which feels really kind of strange to me. It just, I don't know. My look feels like something is kind of missing without a little bit of that. Um, okay, so I'm gonna go into this candy eyeliner. I picked this one up in Thailand as well and I just thought it was super cute. I don't think this is gonna do anything super amazing. It's just really adorable and I thought why not try it out in this video because I have held on to this and I have not had a chance to try it. Ooh, that's not good though. It just kind of like rolls over. I don't think that's very good, but it looks like a lollipop. So the angle of this is not the greatest though. Oof.
and I hate this liner. It's really tough to do the wing portion. So I have one wing that's kind of like meh, and another wing that is not, <laughs> not matching up at all. Uh, and it is kind of crackling apart where my eyelid kind of wants to move a little bit. So yeah, that's a pass. Cute, adorable, but I mean, I, you don't really need cute, adorable makeup. It's just kind of interesting to look at. I need some mascara and I will be right back. Okay, where were we? All right, I want to test out these Velour Flat Pen Tints. I have a Velour Flat Pen Tint in the shade Sweet Cherry. Now, this is just a pen that is a liner that is kind of felt tipped, and I have tried these from, oh, actually, that is different. That actually looks like a Sharpie. Are you serious? Okay, let's just go for it. I mean, is this a lip marker? What? No exaggeration, I love this. I love, 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 love this. Really kind of difficult to get used to the fuzziness and doing an outline of your lip. Like I think I could have done a better job. Now I wanna try the other colors. Are you serious? These are really, really cool. Like this is really, really cool. I am fascinated. This looks like a legit marker. Oh my gosh. These are from Misha, by the way. This is K-Beauty and these are really nice. Like it feels so velvety on the lips. It feels really, really cool. And I think that this is just really neat. Wow. Okay, let's just kind of swatch them all really quickly. Yeah, these are really, really cool. Okay, you guys, I'm like rounding up the goods here and I just realized, look at that. Nothing, it is the ultimate transfer proof product that does not feel crackly and drying and weird. I will definitely be playing around with these more. These are from Misha, uh, that's super cool. What else did I find that was super, super cool? I like the Wonder products, I'm shocked, you know? I haven't tried Wonder products that I really, really loved in a while, but the Wonder Lift did seem to smooth everything under here. The primer definitely brightened my eyeshadow. I mean, look from this eye to this eye, you can see such a huge difference. Love the highlight, the powder, I'm gonna play around with more. The uh, MacBook Pro eyeshadow set from Shaney. I don't think I'll be reaching for it a ton. It did not have any mattes in it. Like that was the thing that kind of blew me away as I was finally sitting down opening it up. So I think we had kind of a 50-50 here. I'm happy that I finally tested out some of these products that were just kind of hanging out in a bin of weird stuff. It is getting me a little bit amped up to try out more from what I have hiding in there because I have so much. So if you like this kind of a video and you want me to try weird products kind of in this way where I'm testing a bunch of them at once, then go ahead and give the video a thumbs up. And also if you haven't subscribed, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. While you're there, hit the bell so that you can be notified of my future uploads. I'm here Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday at 10 a.m. PST. And I would love for you guys to hang out with me again. I kind of do it all here. I do drugstore, luxury, weird products, empties, fails, just gosh everything. Thank you for hanging out with me. I'm going to go back to the couch and like get a water bottle and deal with my cramps, but uh, playing with makeup and hanging out with you guys is always a great way to lift my mood. So thank you so much for being here with me. I love you guys and I will see you all in my next video. Thanks so much for watching. Mwah.